hey guys it's me Samantha with a new video here today and we are gonna do a full face of drugstore makeup I didn't want to do another first impression so I've purchased all of these items probably about a month ago there's a few things that I haven't tried and we'll be trying them together but the majority of the makeup that we're gonna be trying today I have been playing with for a month by now so I'm gonna have some real opinions for you guys for you guys um, if you're interested keep watching if you are new to my channel my name is Samantha and I am a mom of three and a makeup enthusiast and I don't take myself too seriously and neither should you so if you like videos like this please be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to also let us know if you like this video or don't like it it lets me know if I should keep continuing to create content like this and without further ado let's get started so I have two primers here and this one is the Revlon prime plus brightening and skin tone uh, evening primer it's the yellow cap I think there's like three or four of this line and this is the only one I've tried of that this kind of reminds me of when everybody was using the Ulla Henderson vitamin c brightening one or whatever i do not have that one so i can't really tell you it's a dupe but it gives me those vibes um i would think that it probably likely is a dupe for that and then i also been playing with the supercharge from milani it's their dewy primer they came out with a bunch of primers and they seem to be discontinuing some of their older primers i have a feeling they're the same primers they're just repackaged but I can't know for sure. But I have been using this one and I really, really enjoy it. I think I'm going to use this one today. This reminds me of my um, Touch and Soul Pretty filter. Except it has a citrus smell. It's very lotiony and right now it's winter. So hydration, hydration, hydration. I can use all the hydration I can get. I do like the idea of the Revlon one because I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I've been super lazy with my skincare lately, so I've just been breaking out like left and right, and I honestly don't care. I'm just like, I'll take care of the acne as they come. Um, just so busy, but this feels really, really good. I will say that this is fragrance with a citrus smell, but it does dissipate so it doesn't linger. But if you don't like fragrance, maybe this is not for you. And then the foundation we're going to use today is the Catrice Hydrating Foundation. It's the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Now this came out maybe a year and a half ago in the UK, but it's just now making its way here to the States. When I saw this on Ulta initially about a month ago, they did not have all the shades. And I picked up mines in 65 Warm Cinnamon. They did not have my shade. I actually purchased this from Amazon. Now, when I checked recently, they, they do now have the um, shade 65 Warm Cinnamon. But they're still missing a few shades. This is just like a common occurrence, I feel like, with Ulta when I'm buying foundations that are drugstore they just tend not to have all of the shades i'm not sure why that is i'm not sure if it's the brands or if it's ulta themselves but yeah that was a little bit disappointing but with all said and done this is what it looks like so this is supposed to be a long wear foundation it retails for 11 dollars and has 1.1 fluid ounces it does come with a pump which is um appreciated and it's in a glass bottle this reminds me the packaging of the morphe filter effect foundation but that one is twenty dollars and to be honest i like the filter effect better but this is not a bad foundation and we're gonna wear this today and show you guys how it um how it looks so again i'm using the shade 65 warm cinnamon and I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. sponge. Okay. 
all right so that was about a pump and a half i also wanted to mention the shade range there's about 20 shades in this foundation it looks like it's probably like five light five medium five tan and five dark shades but again also doesn't carry all of the shades on their website it could be expanded more obviously but at least it looks like they put some type of effort in that and this is what she's looking like right now i feel like it does look a little light but it does match my skin on my chest because i don't know why my chest just looks lighter than my face i don't know where you guys live or what you guys are up to but it is school vacation week right now we're not really we don't have any plans obvious because of covid but what kind of activities are you guys doing with your kids it's winter in massachusetts it's really snowy so it's not like some states where it's still kind of like warmer um in the 60s or above so it's kind of hard the kids are getting feeling a little cooped up they can't ride their bikes they can't you know do all of that and even with sledding and stuff you're just not sure where to go what to do what are the rules on things so it's been a little stressful so i'm giving this a few more chances this is the um by drew this is the flower beauty i don't know why it says by drew it does look really nice but it gets a little confusing um this is the chill out color corrector plus cbd stuff and i have medium peach i really wish i got the darker one i thought that the darker one would be too dark but i feel like It's just a tad uh, too late sometimes. As I say that, it seems like it's working out <laughs> just fine. I didn't see that Catrice came out with a new concealer. And I don't really see that their past concealer had a lot of rave reviews. So I kind of skipped out on that. And I've been using the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. This one is in the shade beige and it can be a little bright for me i do tend to like to use something more closer to my skin tone but this works fine Ooh, i'm liking what i'm seeing all right so This is not a new product, but it's new to me. This is the L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer. This is in number three, which is, I know it has the name somewhere, Amalfi, which is their medium shade. I thought that this would be perfect for me, but it is just a tad light and it kind of doesn't last all day long, but I do really like it for some reason <laughs> i think the color is just so pretty and you guys are gonna see and i think the longevity has a i mean obviously to do with the fact that i wear a mask during the day at work and then i also wear goggles um some of the time so you know i think part of it is the mask and the goggles but you can see it looks really pretty and it has a radiance to it without having glitter like the Lumi one. So I'm a big fan of this. I would love to see like the number four and number five on me in the summertime. Although I don't think that I'm that dark. And like it would be disappointing if they don't have a shade for people with darker complexion than myself. Because I do think that this is really pretty formula. And it's surprising to me that this is really only available at Walmart, I think. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, which, I mean, there's a Walmart everywhere. But some people don't want to shop at Walmart. Here we go. Another random thing I picked up at Ulta 
um, in the store was this ColourPop Melrose Blush in Fashion District. And this is what she looks like. They have a lighter, like a pinkier one. But this one intrigued me because I felt like this would actually show up. I feel like ColourPop has just been slacking when it comes to things that actually show up on my skin. And I'm not dark really, so I don't understand that. But this is okay. It adds a really pretty warmth to the skin. And I will also say that this just doesn't last that long on the skin either. And again, I do wear a mask at work. And that might have something to do with it. But I do feel like there are blushes in my collection that I wear with a mask that just has a bit of bit better longevity. But this is really pretty. I'm not complaining too much <laughs> now this is a product that I have not tried and this is the um, Catrice more than glow highlighter they had two shades the other one was like a pinky color called I think Sunbeam this one's called beyond golden glow and I actually struggled to <laughs> decide between the two because the pink one actually looked like it was deep enough that it would work for me but I went with the self safe route and got the golden one and we'll see how this looks I also want to mention in case you guys have seen these I don't think these are all of them but I saw on Instagram Luxie was selling these brushes on sale for like five dollars a piece and I purchased some of them I feel like they're all the same they're <laughs> they're similar sizes so even the shape that is different can be used for multiple things but like one of these is um, this one is the powder setting one now you can see it's slightly when I turn it to the side it's slightly tapered I do like that one this one is the highlight one and this is the blush they look almost exactly the same again this is just slightly pinched but the density of it there's really no difference so if you were thinking to purchase these i would say you don't need all of them and if you have already good brushes you don't need to pick them up at all i've been using you know fooling around with them for a little bit and yeah, I could use this for highlight blush and everything. It's all the same thing or to go under my under eye as well. If you are a person who don't who doesn't want to own a lot of brushes or you don't own any brushes and you don't want to purchase a ton, you could probably just get um, the setting one and use that for setting highlight <laughs> uh, blush. Just be careful of the order and at least get yourself one of these to switch in between but you really don't need that many brushes and this could do all of that so I'm just gonna go in oh that's actually really pretty it does emphasize I feel like some texture on my skin but oh it doesn't look too blinding in real life it looks like a little bit of a natural glow So with and without, I may go pick up the other one if I really like this. I know it's unnecessary, but sometimes I do unnecessary things because that is a really pretty formula. I don't know about you guys, but lately I've been tempted to like get rid of some of the drugstore highlighters that I have that are you know a couple years old maybe a year or two old like the milani ones those were so good and everybody loved them but i find that they're a little just too thick and i know that looks good because it's like creamy and it blends into the skin but they're almost too blinding too thick i rather have something that's a thinner formula like this that i could build up to blinding if i want or I can just let it be subtle like this and it doesn't look heavy or feel heavy. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is beautiful. I can see myself reaching for this a lot. 
I'm gonna do my lips now because they're crazy chapped and I keep peeling the skin off and I'm sure you guys are grossed out by now but this is also new this is the Catrice power liquid lip liquid lip balm and this intrigued me because it came out just after the um rare beauty came out with their lip liquid lip balms and I was like I wonder if the formula is similar or not so we're gonna try this and I got this one in the shade fresh acai berry acai berry I never know how to pronounce that the <laughs> brush even looks kind of similar to the Rare Beauty. I want to take it out. This is the Rare Beauty in Nearly Mauve. I'm just so curious. Yeah, it looks like the same, the same kind of tip on there, which is funny. And I'm curious, I'm going to have to like go online and check, but the foundation came out more than a year ago in the UK. I'm curious if this balm also came out a long time ago and Rare Beauty came out after. So like who duped who, that's pretty interesting to me. But let's see. I have to say this is thinner, I think. I'm going to have to test it out back to back to see really if they're dupes, but it definitely feels balmy and not lip gloss like. Very nourishing and I like it. Very natural looking. Oh, that's cute. That's a nice little find. Yeah, I'm going to have to test these like back to back and see if the formulation is a dupe i they had a couple more shades of these and i'm not sure that there's a color dupe but i'm curious to see if the formulation is similar now we're gonna do eyeshadow and i have two palettes i have the la girl this is what desert dream main stage and this is their new like rainbow palette I wanted to do a dedicated video to this palette, but I just didn't really get the inspiration to follow through with it. I played with this quite a bit and I felt like the black was not great and these purples just needed a lot of help to blend and look good. The shimmers here are gorgeous like toppers. The blues and the greens I found worked really, really well, but Karen Harris did a video and I watched it and it was literally like the same look that I had done in front of my mirror and I was like, I'm not going to do a video doing the same look as Karen Harris, so that was out of it. And then, but if you're interested in seeing me do a look with this, maybe I'll play with it some more, come up with some more looks for you. But again, if you're looking at this palette to pick it up yourself, I think the packaging is great quality. The mirror in there is absolutely beautiful. I think the quality, even of these pastel shades right here, were really, really good. They showed up great on my skin tone. These just require a little bit more finesse. The purples, which are traditionally difficult to formulate anyway, and again all the shimmers are really really pretty so i mean i could try to play with this a little bit more and create some looks for you if you're interested let me know but i think today i'm actually going to lean towards the bh los angeles now i also purchased this a little bit ago but i haven't played with it too too much it's a little messy i was just cleaning it up but i think today i'm gonna do like a purple pink look and Let's take it from there and see how it goes. I will zoom you in a little bit, Mo. Hi. All my brushes are dirty right now, so don't judge. We're gonna go into my BH V5, big fluffy brush. Now, if you have small eyes like, lids like me, but you have a lot of space, I like this for kind of putting that transition shade. I forgot to prime. 
course. We're just going to use the Milani because it's quick and easy. All right, so we're going to go into the purple shade called Abbott Keeney. And we'll start with that. Actually, no. We're going to do, I lied, I lied, I lied. We're going to do, I don't know, Weehoo Weho, this peachy color here, and take that on the inner part of my crease. Now, I honestly wasn't going to purchase this palette because it just didn't entice me the way that they normally have. In the past, it just doesn't have the dimension because it is primarily pastels. But you know what? I just love BH Cosmetics so much that, of course, I gave in. So now I'm going to go into the purple shade called Abikini. And we're going to go on the outer part. And I'm going to bring that on the lid. Like the pigmentation is so good. I, it's just ridiculous. If I had a white base on my lid right now, like it would be popping. I like low-key wish I did that, but we're already started. So this is where we're going. <laughs> this is how it's going to be for now. So I'm going to go in with my BH. I'm pretty sure this is the Studio Pro 17. Again, dirty, but we're going to use it anyway and i'm gonna go into melrose which is the purple that has that's more of a shimmer and i'm gonna go into my outer lid with that this shade this palette the reason why i didn't really want to purchase it is it doesn't have a lot of dimension as i said and it just doesn't have like deeper shades and I'm not a huge fan of pastels all right that looks better with the finger and then I'm gonna take Sunset Boulevard to the center which is like almost like a dual chrome I don't know if you can see it's like pink to gold are you shift it we're gonna put that in the center and then kind of like the middle third I'm just gonna create like a gradient I think that looks really nice so far and then I'm going to go into Malibu, which is like a light peachy gold. And I'm going to take that in the inner corner. I'm going to also use that as my inner corner highlight. Put a little bit of that. I'm going to go back with Sunset Boulevard. Kind of go over it a little. And I'm going to take... I, th I think this is called a round tip brush, but I always call it a bullet brush because of the tip of it. This is the V15 from BH Cosmetics. And just really, all right, that looks really pretty. I didn't even set my under eyes, but I don't think I need to, so we're just going to leave it as is i'm gonna go in the under eye area i'm gonna try to take that melrose shade under the eye and see how it goes with the brush sorry i always do that let me i'm just gonna try to mimic what i did on my upper lid on my lower lid this is a Morphe M506. All right, I'm going to catch this eye up to speed, do my brows off camera and mascara, and I will be right back. So guys, surprise, I'm back and I actually put on fake 
lashes. I use the ColourPop Lashes in Lover. And yeah, I have very small lids, so I feel like if I am going to wear a lash, this is a lash I can wear because I still can see my eyeshadow. Um, I'm not very good at lashes, so if they look a little wonky, don't judge too harshly. You can judge, just don't judge harshly. So this is my full face of drugstore makeup. I really like everything that I use. I think everything is reasonably priced, um, good quality. As I did say, I mean, you pay a little bit more, you're gonna get a little bit better. Foundation wise, with all the new stuff that's coming out, drugstore, Morphe's $20. I would go with Morphe over this, but if your price point is not $20 for a foundation, this is a really good one. I don't know. I have very oily skin and I don't feel like it's dewy. It's hydrating in the sense that it's not stealing moisture and being matte on your skin, but I wouldn't say it's a dewy kind of foundation where you're face is gonna like melt off or anything like that so i still would really re recommend this i think the primer is really good as well the milani one that i tried i'm highly impressed with this highlight it looks high end um i have a feeling this is gonna be a favorite and yeah everything was really really good i enjoyed just hanging out with you guys and giving you guys my feedback on some of the stuff that i've been playing with <laughs> until next time be sure to hit that subscribe button it will really help my channel out and give me a thumbs up if you like this video or thumbs down if you did not and until next time love you guys bye